Hey everybody, um, wanted to come on today and share this video with you as a way to spread maybe some, a tiny bit of positivity or a tiny bit of hope or something to hold on to uh, amongst the barrage of negativity that we are constantly being hit with uh, on the news and in the media, and that is this. We are going to come through this. This isn't a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Welcome to Let's Get Frank About Real Estate. I'm Frank McManus with Lamaki Realty, but today is going to be a little different. We're not talking about real estate per se. We're talking about uh, what is happening right now. And the issue I keep seeing is the fact that we are in this 24-hour news cycle of negativity, right? Um, and people seem to be acting surprised that the number of people infected is going up. But you shouldn't be surprised by that because the more testing that we're starting to finally do, the more we're going to realize how many people are actually infected. So don't be in denial and don't be ignorant to numbers increasing. But that being said, it doesn't mean that you have to obsessively worry about what's happening, right? The biggest thing we all have to try to do is just simply accept the fact that this is the new norm and look forward to what are we going what are we doing now and what are we going to continue to do to progress and move forward and get past all of this nonsense, right? So, I was watching um, something with Grant Cardone this morning which obviously he tends to be somewhat of a lightning rod for most people, but he does make some poignant points regarding this situation and um, he talks about just that, accepting the fact and moving forward. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not as old as some of the people watching this, but on the same hand, I am older than some other people watching this. So my, my question that I pose is, name me a catastrophic event, domestically or globally, that we haven't been able to recover from in the history of the world. I mean, we went through a couple of world wars, you know, we went through 9-11, um, which everybody thought the ceiling was falling, um, but we recovered in a big way. We went through the crash of 08, financial crash of 08, but we recovered in a big way. So it's not a matter of if we're going to recover from this, it's a matter of when and how we're going to do it. So. Instead of watching whatever side of the fence news station that you watch consistently all day and being berated and barraging this negative, this many more people have it, this many more deaths are occurring, get away from all that. Okay, you don't need to be constantly updated by all this crap. Okay, turn your attention to something else. Okay, start. Stop focusing on the issue or the problem at hand, which is obvious, and start focusing on the solutions that you can do, right? People look at the fact that we're quarantined as a problem instead of looking at it as this is part or the beginning part of the solution to get past this, right? Yes, everybody's going stir crazy. Yes, if you have you know multiple kids or even one kid for that matter at home, um, this is becoming an issue with keeping them entertained, keeping yourself entertained, keeping your head on straight, finding things to do, but it's also part of the solution going forward. So get away from the news on a consistent basis, you know, go to it once in a while to get an update, but don't watch it every single day, right? When it comes to the real estate market, because I've been fielding a lot of questions and we've been talking a lot internally over our Zoom meetings and Facebook Live meetings about what's going on in the real estate market, you know, the one thing about real estate is it's not a commodity. It's a necessity, right? Everybody needs a place to live, okay? So there are people who need to buy a home and there are people who need to sell a home. So overall, in the big picture, yes, there are some things going on that are affecting our industry with things slowing down and things being delayed in the process, but all in all, it's business as usual. People still need to buy, people still need to sell, we're still finding ways to find those two parties and match them up together to make something happen. So if you are a person who is searching for a home, stay the course, okay? Competition is starting to drop for you. If you are a person who is trying to sell your home, stay the course. Competition is starting to drop for you, okay? You will find the house that you want. You will find the buyer who likes your house, okay? We will still make these things happen, but stay the course 
unless otherwise you can't. Obviously do what's in the best interest of you, what you think is best for you. If that means not going to see a home anymore, or if that means putting a pause and not having your home on the market anymore, that's fine. Do what you need to do that's best service for you and your family. But if you don't have to, stay the course, things will continue to move and live as normal as possible or as possible as we possibly can at this point. But the overall message is stay positive. If you're having trouble with that, find different things online that are gonna feed your mind positive messages rather than the constant updates of how many more people are affected and how many more people are dying because all that's doing is poisoning your mind, okay? Stay positive, find things to keep you positive. We are gonna get through this. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when and how long, all right? So that's my message today. I hope this little bit gives you something to hold on to, a little bit of positivity to grab onto, a little bit of hope to keep you going. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about this whole situation as it relates to the market, by all means, let me know. If you just want to vent about your situation, by all means, let me know. I'll listen, no problem. But um, I hope this helps, and until next time.